morning, church. Can we all stand and turn our Bible to Psalms 100? I'm sorry. And can we all read it together? Psalms 100. Here goes the word of God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pastors. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. What's the Lord is what? The Lord is good. It is mercy everlasting and is truth endured for all generations. So this morning we are going to enter into God present with thanksgiving. We're going to worship God like we never worshiped God before. It takes only two to tear down the devil wall. And there's more than 10 of us here present right now. So we're going to storm heaven. And whatever you need, God is here to give it to you, only if you open up to him. We're going to have a welcome by sister. You may be seat seated. We're going to have a welcome by sister Yvonne Winston. Good morning, church. You know, it's a great day to be in the house of the Lord. You know, take a look outside. The sun is shining. It's warm and nice in here, or cool and nice, I should say, on the inside. You know, we have states that are flooded this morning, but we can give God thanks that right now we are not in that position. And we just want to give God thanks for his mercies. We just want to give God thanks for who he is. He woke us up this morning in our right mind. And he brought, us, he brought each and every one of us to his house so we can give him praise this morning. A lot of times people say you don't have to be in a church to give God his praise. But I like to be in church with my brothers and my sisters to give God his thanks and his glory. You know, it's like when I'm not here and I see 11 o'clock, I'm like, okay, church is about to begin. Sister Donnett is going to do praise and worship. And I can go through the whole program when I'm not here because I'm used to being here. And we just want to continue to give God thanks. Those who are not here, you know, on, out in Facebook land, we just want to say to you this morning, good morning. We want to just um, say hello this time to Sister Mullins, um, our favorite Sister Mullins, Rutland Mullins. We want to say our hello to Sister Hazel Davis, who is not here with us this morning. Sister Sharp, and those who are not here for whatever reason. Let's give God his thanks. Let's welcome him. In. Let's welcome the Lord in. Let him come in and take his rightful place because without him, why are we here? There's a special reason for us to be here this morning. And um, church, we're going to continue to give God thanks. And also, while we're sitting here, just take a quiet moment and, you know, say a word of prayer to the speaker who should, who should bring us his, um, God's word today. We just want to continue to give God thanks. Those who are on their way, we ask that the Lord will hasten their footsteps and bring them here safely as we continue to give God his praise because he's worthy of it. God bless each and every one of you today.
just a reminder, church, that today is July the 31st, and today is our what? Ladies' Days. So, ladies, you know, they say in um, we're going to break loose, but we're going to do break praise. We're going to show the man how to praise God today, okay? So, at this time, <laughs> I would like to welcome Sister Deborah with our open prayer. Stand, please. Grace and mercy, Father God. We're here today, Father God, to leave our prayers and petitions at the feet of Jesus. We are here to lift you up, Father God. We are here to praise you. As Sister um, Michelle Walsh just said, Father God, she said, when we come into your courts and gates, we should come with thanksgiving and praise, Father God. So I'm coming with thanksgiving, Father God. I'm thanking you right now, Father, for waking me up, Father God, in my right mind and us in our right mind, Father. You got us here safely, Father God. I thank you, Father, for a place to lay my head, Father God. I thank you for the clothes on my back, food on my table father I thank you for health father God in the name of Jesus hallelujah because I know the enemy right now is attacking father God attacking your people attacking the families attacking attacking their health right now but we are binding that up in the name of Jesus we are canceling those assignments in the name of Jesus we are not listening to the reports of the doctor we are listening to your report we are listening to who you say we are you we are listening to you because you are Jehovah Rapha and you are the God that heals your people need healing right now Father right now in the name of Jesus whether they are at home on Facebook in the hospitals Father you know where they are I am sending your word to Atlanta right now I am sending your word to receiving hospital right now I am receiving sending your word to wherever sister Yolanda's mother whatever hospital Widow, she's in right now in the name of Jesus. And we are declaring healing right now. We are declaring healing, Father God. We are accepting no less, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because we know what you can do. Wherever your son went, healing took place, Father God. And we are sending your word. We do not have to be there, Father God. We are we because we know that your word travels, Lord. We are sending your word right now father God to Charles right now sister Yolanda's mother father God and whoever else father God that are sick right now my cousin Lisa father God in the name of Jesus hallelujah we are trusting you father have your way Lord have your way in this place today father God in the name of Jesus have your way Lord let your Holy Spirit just reign in the sanctuary today father God you Use your people for your glory. Use the ladies for your glory today, Father God. We are here to worship you with sincerity and truth, Father God. Because we know who you are. And we know who we are being your children, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See our hearts, Lord. See our hearts today, Father God. We are come expecting, Lord. Expecting, Father God, to hear a word from you from your servant, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Use your, that person. I'm not sure who's speaking, who's bringing the word, but you know, Father God, anoint them from the crown of their head to the soles of your feet. Anoint the rest of your people, the praise and worship team, Father God. Accept our worship today, Father God. Accept it, Father God. Let it be like a river flowing, Father God. Let it reach your ears, Father God. Let it be pleasant to you and a sweet sound in your ear, Father. Oh, we are in the presence of the Most High. We are in your presence right now, Father God. Hallelujah. 
Fill us with your power, Father. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take control. Take control of whoever is speaking. Take control of the praise and worship team. Take control if somebody's giving an encouraging word. Take control today, Lord. Hallelujah. This is your service. This is your service. Reach your people on Facebook. Reach your people out in that community that's passing by and hearing what's on the speaker, Father God. Reach them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let us all have receptive hearts today, Father God. Forgive us, Lord, for any sins, Father God, any sins that we may have committed, Father, known and unknown, Father God. Well, Father, I present your people before you right now, Father. And we just thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do tonight. We know that you are here. We know that you are here. Anything that you are need, reach out right now. Reach out and touch the hem of his garment so that we may be made whole. Oh, Father, we lift you up. I glorify you, Father God. Yes, God, let everything be in order, Father God, because you are God of order. We want things to be in order. We want you to be pleased today, pleased with our worship today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are bowing before the King of kings and Lord of lords right now. We are lifting you up and exalting your name today, Father. Holy Spirit, again, reign in this place. Baptize somebody today with that Holy Spirit, Father God. Let them not be fearful. Let them not be doubtful. Let them receive what it is that you have for them today, Father. Open up our hearts and our minds, Father God, in the name of Jesus, so we can receive what it is that you have for us today, Father God. It's something that's going to bring us closer, Father. Something that's going to draw us more nearer to you, Father. Something that's going to give somebody hope hope today father god that's what we're looking for holy spirit thank you for your presence being here today father god thank you god hallelujah bless each and every one under the sound of my voice father and cover us with the precious blood of jesus cover us with the blessed precious blood of jesus you are in control we are coming up under you Bless the shepherd of this house, Father God, Pastor Whitehill, and her husband, Father Elder Whitehill, Father. Bless them, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless them, Lord, and bless our homes, our families, our children, Father God. And we just thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do today. We thank you right now for what you're going to do today. We thank you right now for what you're going to do today. We're going to say, I was glad to be in the service. Somebody's going to say, what must I do to be saved? Somebody is going to confess and repent, Father God, and fall down on their knees, Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I thank you again for what you're going to do, what you've already done, and what you're doing, not right now. In Jesus' precious, holy, and matchless name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Just keep standing, please. Can we all stand? Can we all just start giving God some thanks and praise right now? Just praise God right now for the goodness and mercy. Just praise God right now for taking us here safely. Just praise God right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. While on my way here, I was talking to God in my car. You know, that's my best place, talking to God. And I said, I said, Lord, we pay money to go see people worship God. <laughs> but God don't deserve, you know, God don't desire nothing from us. Nothing. He didn't ask you for nothing to come in his presence. And we are in his presence today. We don't have to pray to pay thousands of dollars to see the entertainer. Our entertainer is here, which is Christ Jesus. All we have to do is just be a one accord today. 
I want every person that sit in the presence of God to participate. Put away the distraction today and let us focus on the creator. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. You may think you don't deserve it right now, but somebody in your family need it. You might need it in the coming week. You might need the praise for something that's going to occur in your life. But because you was in the house of God on the 31st of July, God say, I heard your praise. I see your tears. We need to start giving God praise more and participate in the presence of God. We are not a movie theater. We are in the house of God. He deserved the praise. He wake us up this morning. He closed us in our right mind this morning. We know right and we know wrong this morning. He fed, up, he fed us yesterday and he's going to fed us today because we're going on to eat. And if you don't have food, there's food downstairs. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. He said, what? We shall not want of anything. He got us. We just need to stand still. And stand in the presence of God and give him what he deserves. And he said he, he wants all our praise. He wants all our worship this morning. So we're going to lift praise and worship to God. We're going to tell the devil, you are defeated. You are defeated to our praise. And you are defeated to our worship. We're going to use our worship and our praise today as a gun in the devil's face. I want, I'm looking for every person. When the praise and worship team come, praise God like your, your, your life depends on it. Praise God like you're insane. Praise him like you don't know where you are. Come on, we need to start praising God. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we're going to turn our Bible with Sister Erica Mark, uh, Mark Mustards to, I'm sorry, Sister Erica Masters to Psalms 119 as she comes to give the word. Would you please stand for the reading of God's word? Um, turn your Bibles to Psalm 119, and we'll be reading from verse 129 to 137. You could follow along. I'm, I'll be reading King James Version. You, I think it will be on the board, so you follow along also. Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let thy let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face the shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes, because they keep not thy law. Verse 137. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. God bless the reading of his words. Amen. And at this time, we will enter into God's present with worship with Sister Darnett and the worship team. Can you all stand for worship? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Somebody give him praise in the house today. God, you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory let the glory of the Lord 
rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, oh, oh. let it rise. Let it rise. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the praise of our King rise among us. Let the praise of our
I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, Facebook. We can't hear you, but sit up those eyes and sing unto the Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, yes, we love you. I worship and adore you. We love you, Lord. I love you more than anything. Lord, we love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything one more time with the first i lift my hands in total adoration i lift my hands in total adoration to you you reign upon the throne for the work god i'm not alone because of my cloud is up on i can sing to you the song I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you. Lord, we love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Come on, come on, just a man of God. Come on, man of God. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Come on, let's do it, man, ladies, if you love Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship you, better I you. I worship and I do. Oh, yes. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Oh, I just want to tell you. Lord, with this next song so come on I'm here I'm gonna give you this mic brother but we're gonna sing you are God holy and righteous hallelujah I'm gonna get this mic back here but we're gonna sing unto God
track here. Holy and righteous, you are Lord. You are Lord.
angels. You are God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. are God. If he's reigning in your life, sing that part. Reigning king. He's a reigning king. Holy and righteous. Reigning king. Reigning king. If he's the Lord of your life, you are Lord one last time. You are Lord, mm. holy and righteous, you are Lord, you are Lord, thank you Lord. Just give God some praise in the house. Can we just give God some praise in the house? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way right now, Jesus. Take over, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. If we're done, you help us out. Thank you, Jesus. You Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Let the church say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are going to step into our tithes and offering at this moment. And as Sister Darnett come with a song, follow Sister Deborah with the prayer. I'm sorry, Sister Pam with the bride. We're going to do the call and response. Please follow Sister Pam. Good morning, church. Good morning. Call and response leaders. We're going to start off with nine. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increases. That and all giving is an act of my worship. That's found in Proverbs 3, 9 through 10. Let us all stand. Amen, amen, amen. I want to ask Brother Montel to lead this song, All the Glory. Amen. Somebody give that brother a mic. Please follow the direction of the ushers. Amen. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah. Mm. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah. So all the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh. God. Yeah. So all the glory belongs, all the glory belongs to you. Oh, all the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah. So all the glory belongs, all the glory belongs to you. Oh, all the glory belongs to you, oh God. Let's give him the highest praise, amen, church. Yeah. Now we say, I. the highest praise one last time, amen. Yeah. Now we say, I live, live, yeah.
Father God, we come before you. We just want to say thank you for a beautiful service so far, Lord. We thank you for everyone that tried to their way out, even the ones on Facebook, Lord. We are standing here to give you thanks for this offering. Thank you for opening up our hearts and giving from the heart, Lord. Lord, we're doing something in this church. We are building. We're bringing people in, and we, we have things we have to do, Lord. We thank you for every single dime that came in. For the ones that couldn't give, Lord, bless their hands, bless their hearts, that the next time they'll have it to give. Lord, right now, we thank you in the name of Jesus for everything that you have brought forth. Lord, you have been there for us time and time again and now it's time for us to show you we can't pay you back for everything you've done because you paid the ultimate price but lord we can show you that we care enough to keep this this building lord this place going afore lord we just thank you in the name of jesus once again lord we thank you for this offering that's presented before you amen And at this time, we will have our word of encouragement by Sister Ashley Moore. Can you give her a welcome while she... Good morning, church. So my very, very brief word of encouragement is coming out of Hebrews 10 and 25. So if everyone can turn there. Hebrews 10 and 25 says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. So my word of encouragement is it's extremely important in this day for us believers to fellowship together in this manner. It's important for us to continue to come together as a body of believers in this type of setting, to be there for one another, to pray, to fellowship, to worship, and to hear the word of God together. And it's easy, especially in this time, to neglect coming inside the building due to the streaming and the internet but we miss out on so much when we don't come inside. So I just want to encourage you all to continue to continue to come to church and fellowship with like-minded believers, encourage one another and pray for one another and to continue to be edifying as the body of Christ. Thank you, Sister Ashley, for your words of encouragement. And at this time, we will have Sister Beverly to come and pray for our speaker today. Praise the Lord, saints. First of all, mighty God, I just want to thank you for bringing us here this morning, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and for your mercy. For your grace and mercy, oh God. We thank you. Right now, I pray for the speaker, God, that you'll just take control, Lord. Take control, mighty God, and use her as a vessel, mighty God, to bring forth your word. Your word, oh God, which is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. We pray, God, that you'll just let self, oh God, be put in the background and your Holy Spirit take over 
and bring forth a word, mighty God, to us, your people, O oh God. Even to those on Facebook, mighty God, let, their, let a word go forth and come forth, mighty God, from you, Lord, that will transform our lives, O oh God, that will save souls, O oh God, that those, mighty God, who are bound will be loosed. Just bring forth your word, mighty God, in a powerful way by your Holy Spirit. Open up our ears to hear, O oh God, and our eyes to see. Let revelation come forth, mighty God, and understanding of your word. And help us to apply what we hear to our lives, yes. that you'll be changed, O oh God. And we just give you all the praise and we give you glory right now. Take over, Holy Spirit, as only you can. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, can we all stand and welcome our speaker, no other than our pastor, Pastor Emmanuel White here. Can we put our hands together? Hallelujah. Mantel, would you go ahead and please pay attention and listen? Because if I start coughing, I'm going to sit down and hand it over to you. Most of you know I don't have COVID. I, uh, this time of the year, I have an allergy. And it's difficult when I start coughing. It's difficult for me. So be ready. Pay attention. It's an honor to be here today again. Yeah. Um. Those of you who were on Facebook, or have Facebook, you probably have seen my son in Atlanta, Brother Charles is asking for prayer. Um, so I hope you prayed. I think I, I, that's what Sister Deborah was praying for this morning. Am I right or wrong? Bless the Lord. He's, she sent the word to Atlanta. Yeah. He has real bad headache and stomach virus. And I just want to let you know, it's kind of rough on him because his wife has to go to go to work and he has to take care of both babies. And we were on the phone this morning for a while, but we know that God can, it's not a problem. I'm glad you're here. How many of you really came to worship? Thank you, ladies. Um, it's not ladies there as such, but the ladies are in charge and I'm thankful for those of you, la those of you ladies who stepped up. So I want to greet everyone. The Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, and those on Facebook, to everyone in the sanctuary, my husband, as he's looking straight at me, I greet you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So greetings to all of you. This is the day the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know, we, we, we quote that verse of scripture so lightly. He really woke us up this morning. Yes, yes. yes. Right. Amen. Amen. And some of you probably pushed your way here, but you're here. Yes. Some of you understand, like Sister Ashley said, we should not forsake. Well, she didn't say it. The word of God says this. That's right. She encouraged us that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. That's the word. It's in the book. So yes. here we are this morning. Please participate. Pray for me. Mm -hmm. Get involved. Get your Bibles. Write some notes down. Because the Lord is going to deal with us today. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Lord. I have so many messages that I could preach. And I was trying to figure out which one to preach. I could go to the topic from the General Assembly, which was reconciling the world to Christ, that was the topic mm -hmm. in the General Assembly, and I'm suppo we're supposed to be focusing on that as a local church so we can be on the same page. Mm -hmm. If they preach that at the General Assembly, it's all over the world, the same message. So we don't want to act like, even though we were not there, we don't want to act like we don't know what's going on. Right. The theme for the Assembly was reconciling the world to Christ. 
And I've been teaching on the Holy Spirit for I don't know how long. I could continue. But today, and even the message that Brother Reggie preached last week, I could continue with that message as well. But I choose today to preach, to teach on prayer. Somebody will probably say, well, I know how to pray. I'm glad you do. Because what happens in the midst of everything that is happening, if we don't know how to pray, if we can't communicate with God, and God is not communicating with us, we can't do what God wants us to do. We can't be on the same page. And I realize that every revival, every breakthrough, it doesn't matter how big the revival is. Every breakthrough came because of prayer. Right. Amen. Right. Amen? Amen? We have been praying for breakthrough. But we have to continue to pray. We cannot stop because it's going to come. The Bible said we should pray without ceasing because right. eventually, bam, there's going to be a breakthrough. Come on now. Amen? Right. Amen. Some of you probably have prayed for years for the same thing and nothing happened. Don't stop praying. Come it's on. coming. Yes. Keep in mind that your time and God's time is not the same timing. <laughs> God has a plan. He's got a time when he will come through for you. Do not stop praying. And I will reiterate. Every major revival sometimes start with two people at somebody's house. Amen? Amen? They decided that they're coming together because we want to see a change. I heard Brother Danny was praying this morning. We, somebody, the local church has to come together. And I'm not calling everybody to come. If you really have a desire to see God move, you have to make the sacrifice. When we call for prayer meeting, come. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. When we ask you to fast, fast. One scripture said, these kind goeth not forth but by prayer and fasting. Right. We have to be ready and willing to make the sacrifice in order for God to move. And I just pray today that after I do this teaching, that we'll all wake up. Last time when Brother Reg was here, I hope he's listening. I'm not sure if he's at work or he's listening. But... He said to me, I'm going in. And I said to him, I'm coming with you. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. Somebody need to say, I'm going in. And somebody right behind him need to say, I'm coming with you. Because the Bible said, if any two shall agree. Yes. If any two shall agree. Whatever we ask in faith, believing it shall be done. I need another person to say with me, I'm coming with you. We're going in. But in order for us to go in, we have to know who we are, whose we are. We have to know our place. We have to know our position. We have to know who God is. Let's go in. And the devil needs to know that our minds are made up. It doesn't matter what is happening around us. It doesn't matter what you're hearing. We need to go in. Because the Bible said, he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. We're coming in. Glory be to God. We're coming in. And we need to go in in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the devil know we understand what's going on. He's not the roaring lion. He's not the lion of the tribe of Judah. He acts like one. He is not the lion of the tribe of Judah. Glory be to God. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Come on, folks. Understand who you are. Under the power and the anointing of God, let's go in. And declare, take back what the devil has taken away from us. Take back your joy. Take back your peace. Take back your anointing. You, the devil, is that's not his. He stole it from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For a long time, 
I've been uncomfortable when I see what is going on. And I said, we need more of the Lord. But listen, I have said that several times. And maybe you have said that. But God doesn't come in pieces. He needs more of us. He doesn't come in pieces. And how does God get more of us? Is when we say, yes, Lord. Yes. Is when we, he said, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Submit. Give yourself completely to God. And watch God move. He needs more of us. The areas in our lives that we refuse to give completely over to him, he needs, he needs so we can have full control. There are so many of us, so many of us, listen to me very carefully. We give God a part of us. God I just want to have this part for me. This area in my life, I don't want you to come in there. So I'm going to give you just this part. But until we completely surrender our lives to him, we can't see God move like he really wants to move. He has to have full control. So he needs to occupy. Everybody say occupy. occupy. He needs to occupy every area in our lives. Think right now as you're sitting listening to me, which part of you God doesn't have? Which part of you do you refuse to give to God? Think about it. Maybe you want to write it down so you can remind yourself when you go home. This is the part that I don't want to give to God. Because if I give this part to him, he's going to have full control. And I can't do what I want to do. Amen? If God made himself available, available to us, we need to make ourselves available to God. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Then after he... Well, up on the cross, his last word was, it is finished. Then he said, we are seated together in heavenly places with him. How are we going to be seated together with him in heavenly places and so powerless? Do you know? Your position. Do you know where you're sitting? That's what the Bible said. Not me. But we're seated together. In heavenly places with him. Hallelujah. Today I think we need to be. Spending more time with him. In prayer. Do you realize that. God is jealous. Amen everybody. God is, he's a jealous God. I know what jealousy is. I got a jealous husband. God is a jealous God. If you say that you belong to him and he belongs to you, you cannot afford to bring somebody else in between. You can't spend more time with somebody else or something else. And then God, God is on the, on the back burner. He comes second. He's jealous. Thank you, mighty God. He's saying, I want you. And I want you and I want you. Not only to come sit in church but I want to have a relationship with you. Relationship. 
See, what happened, what I noticed, the way these relationships are going these days. Don't put your hand up. Don't shake your head. Don't look at the person next to you. Just keep focus. I'm in love with Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Susan. I don't know where she is. I don't know what's going on with her. And, and that we, these relationships that you're seeing right now, there are some messed up relationships. But with God, you can't go wrong. That's a relationship that's permanent. There are some relationships, they only love you for what you have. What you can give them. But that's not God. That's not so. We have a relationship with God. He has everything that we need. What else are you looking for? He wants you to completely surrender to him. Give him your time, church. Give him your best. Give him your, just give him your gift. that he, he gave you gifts and talents and abilities. Give it back to him. Whatever you do, make sure he gets the glory out of what he has given to you. Yes. Glory be to God. He wants you. He wants you and he wants, tell the person next to you, God wants you. Maybe I should ask you, ask the, next, ask the person next to you, does God have you? <laughs> Glory be to God. So we're going to look at prayer. Because if we're going to go anywhere, we have to know how. We have to know the parts of prayer. So I'd like for you to turn your Bibles with me. I know the map don't tell me I Paul said that we should pray, and I didn't write the scripture down, help me out, with all types of prayer. All prayers and supplications. Find that for me. All prayers and supplications. I thought I had it right here. I didn't write it down. But I want us to read that. Paul said we should pray with all prayers. And when you find it, please let me know, Brother Trey, when if you find it, put it up. Well. Find the scripture for me. All prayers, pray with all prayers and supplications. Bear with me. I thought I wrote it down. Let's see it. Philippians 4. What Read it for me, brother. Not that verse. It says all prayers. Did anybody find it? I can't hear you. It's in Ephesians. Bear with us, Facebook. We, we have to get this verse of scripture here. I didn't write it down. I thought I did. Ephesians. Read it, please. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. The reason I'm going there is because of this word right here. Amen? Praying all the way with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. So um, I find out, I studied and I found out that there are distinct prayers. As a matter of fact, I studied seven of them. Seven distinct steps to keep us as we pray. And that's what I'm going to go over today. So write the scriptures down, Ephesians 6 and 18. Praying always with all prayer. Okay? So if we're going to pray with all prayer, we need to begin the right way. All right. Here is step number one. There are seven of them. As we pray. The first step is confession. Amen? Amen? Go to Genesis chapter 14 and verse 22. Genesis 14 and verse 22. 
And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up mine hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth. Okay. In our confession, we begin by acknowledging who God is. Amen. That's the first step in prayer. We must acknowledge who God is. Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I, I have lifted my hand unto the Lord. Amen. The most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth. He acknowledged who God is. Even when we come to worship this morning, as we're worshiping and lifting up, we need to acknowledge who we are worshiping. Glory be to God. So when we go to ask him for something, when we take our request to God, we must know who we are taking our request to. So we let him know that we know that you are Lord. Glory be to God. We know that you are, you are the God most high, the possessor of heaven and earth. So I come Glory be to the Lamb of God Almighty. I come in the name of Jesus. How do you approach God? What we do a lot of times, give me this, give me that, give me that, the other. We come into a shopping list. We don't even acknowledge who he is. Glory to God. Begin by declaring the power of the Almighty God. Elijah began his prayer on Mount Carmel. In 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 36. 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 36. Keep your mind on the Lord. Pray for me. Write the notes down and stay connected. So we'll go where we're going. Thank you, Lord. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham. Up right there. That's how we approach God, right? Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. Mm. How do you approach God? Hallelujah. This is what Elijah said. And we must make sure we are confessing, we are beginning our prayer by acknowledging who God is. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. There are some other names that we could call him to, but we're not going to go to all of those. God Almighty, Elion, Creator, Lord, Father, God Most High. He want Elijah want fire to fall. So he, he declared who God was. He acknowledged who God was. So let us acknowledge him. If we want to see God move, if we want to see fire fall, if we want to see healing take place, we have to acknowledge who he is. Let him know that we know who he is. <laughs> That's good stuff, all right? Amen. All right? That's good. That's good. My God. I'm not coming to a handmade God. Right. I didn't build my God myself. You're the one that stepped out of nowhere and stepped on nothing and said, let there be. You're the one that spoke and everything came into being. Glory be to God. I acknowledge you. Glory be to God as Lord and Savior. Come on, church. We have to acknowledge him. Even the very fact that you came in here this morning and say, he woke me up this morning. That's acknowledge him. You could have gotten up as crazy as a nut cake. But he gave you right mind. Who did that? On your way driving here, you take this for granted. Anything could have happened to you on your way here. But he kept you. Oh, glory be to God. You are my protector. You are my everything. I acknowledge you. It is in you that I live and move and have my being. I can't do without you because you are God Almighty. Oh, glory be to God. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are God. 
Lift your right hand and say, you're God. It's you that I worship. It's you that I adore. You are God Almighty and there is none like you. The world needs to know. The church needs to know. And especially if you are saved, your neighbors need to know who you serve. Your neighbors need to know who is your healer. Your neighbors need to know who is your provider. It's God Almighty. The Bible said if you lift him up, he will do the drawing. As you acknowledge who he is and lift him up to your neighbors, as you lift him up in the community, you just have to lift him up and keep on moving. Glory be to God because you have already acknowledged him as God. I'm telling you that there's a way that you have to approach God. Thank you, mighty God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. The next level in prayer is supplication. Thank you, Lord. Simply let your request be made known to the Lord because you now have his attention. Let me tell you something. How many of you have ever been talking to someone and they're either on their phone, watching TV, or doing some other things? And what do you say? I'm talking to you. Right. Pay attention. When you acknowledge, oh, pray for me. When you acknowledge who God is, you get his attention. Thank you, mighty God. I remember who was in a tree and Jesus was passing by. And as soon as Zacchaeus said, Jesus. Jesus stopped. Are you all with me? And it's like, today, Jesus looked up. Jesus said, because you acknowledge me and you got my attention, right. I'm going to your house. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, glory to God. Oh, because you acknowledge me. God is not, Lord, help me right now. God is not showing up at some of our houses because we don't acknowledge him. <laughs> If Zacchaeus wasn't in that tree calling all kinds of Buddha and whomever, Jesus would just keep on going. But as soon as he said, Jesus, he got his attention. Yes. Call him by his name. Call him who he is. And he got his attention. Glory be to God. Do you know who you're speaking to? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Once you acknowledge God and you get his attention, he's ready to give you what you need. That's why he said, I'm coming to your house. Not tomorrow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, but unfortunately, a lot of us spend far too much time on this step, the step of supplication. Then their entire prayer life seems to be concentrated on needs. Once you get their needs and wants and desires. Of course, you have personal problems and they're worthy of God's attention. But when you have shared them, it's not time to say Amen. When you share all your needs and your problems and your different situations, once you get his attention, now back up. Once you get his attention and you share your needs and do whatever, don't say amen and, and say next time we'll pray again. We'll come back to you next week. 
the best is yet to come. You have shared in faith, in faith, believing the answer is there. And this is the confidence, the scripture said, this is the confidence that I have in you, that whatever you ask in faith, believing. Keep your foot on that word. Now I've gotten his attention. And trust me, li listen folks, when you're praying and you get God's attention, you know it. How many of you have, uh, have experienced that? When you're praying and you get his attention, there's a special kind of something. I'm not even sure how to describe it. There's a special feeling. Glory to God. I remember one time I was on my knees. I remember where I was in my bedroom behind the door. And as I was praying and I got God's attention, I felt so close to him that I went. I hugged him. That's how close I felt to him. That time, you don't want anybody knocking on the door. You don't want anybody on the phone. You don't want anybody. No, because you are now, you, you're in. You are connected. Glory be to God. That's the relationship that God wants us to have as his children. Oh, glory be to God. If it doesn't happen right now, it will happen again. Just take this lesson, write it down, and start following in that direction. And watch God come to your rescue. Hallelujah to God. Bless your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. That's the second step. Let's go on to the third one. The third one is adoration. Now you're about to adore him. Keep in mind that this is not what you do if you are asked to pray for the speaker. You know, some <laughs> you're asked to pray for, for the speaker and you go through all of these different things. You, know, you just pray and ask the Lord to bless the speaker and keep on going. And when you come to the altar, you don't know. You, you make sure you find out where these people are and you pray for them. These steps are followed during your time alone with God. Amen? Sometimes someone comes here to the church to pray and they think they have to wait for somebody else to come. If nobody else comes, I'm not going to pray. Amen? If you're in this place at noon, and a lot of times I'm here by myself, lock these doors, and it's me and God. You are alone with God. At mid, when you come to midnight prayer, or an hour of prayer at the church, this is where, when you spend time alone with God, and you adore him. Adoration should be a time of absolute beauty and worship, loving him, adoring him. You probably have heard people pray like that. They get to the place where they start adoring God. You may begin with words like, Jesus, I love you. I worship and adore you. Suddenly, as you do that, because you are now here at the adoration, you're adoring, you lift up your hands, and all of a sudden, you can feel his holy presence. And two hours later, you look at the time and you go, wow, have I been here that long? Because your worship and adoring is important. You are now adoring God. I, can believe the time has, I can't believe the time has gone by so fast. I remember I was doing all of these different things and God came to my rec re rescue. We must adore God. I hope to God you're getting this today. We must be at a place. You spend two minutes before God and somebody asks you, did you pray? Yes, I prayed. Or, or, or I said my prayers before I went to bed last night. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. And if I... What is that?
understand you must get in touch. You must connect with God because he is your source. Everything you need, he has. You can't just go say good morning or good afternoon, God. You have to spend time down there until you experience. Hallelujah. Experience his presence. Glory be to God. Now look at the fourth. The fourth one. This thing step the prayer. The fourth one is intimacy. Amen. Intimacy is intimacy. This is almost too. We must understand where we are. This is a time of closeness between personal relationship between you and God. A closeness. It is what builds over time as you connect with him. Grow to care about him. You are, you now have intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ. Spiritual intimacy with God means we are never alone. Amen. I heard that word stress last time when Brother Bridget was here. We must be, Lord help us, Jesus. It's difficult to have intimacy with someone without knowing them. That's how you get to know them. Intimacy. You're talking, they're talking. You're getting to know who the person is. God wants to have intimate time with us. God and God alone. Intimate time with the Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. It means courageous and capable of overcoming, no matter the circumstances, because God is with you. You're intimate with him. Your relationship with God grows in three ways because you have intimacy with him. One is a father-child relationship is developed. The, one, the second one is the fruit of God's spirit is cultivated. We're talking about intimacy with God. As you spend time with God, something developed. You, you cannot be the same anymore. And I would stress that if you're having an intimate relationship with God, you cannot be the same. You have to change. You have to change. You must change. So there's a father-child relationship. I think Brother Roger said last time, God is looking for sons. Yes. So when you stay with God, and I do hope to God today, I'm not just talking and wasting words. When you spend time with him, you can go around and you're not saying our father was in heaven because it's written in the Bible. But you're saying, father, you're saying, daddy. As a matter of fact, didn't he say he called us friend? When we have intimate relationship with him, he calls us his friend. How, I mean, look at who God is. Look at how powerful he is. And you can, my goodness gracious, he gave us access to him and he can call you friend. And that's what he wants. He wants to make sure that that is developed in you. The fruit of the spirit is being cultivated. Your daily life will become a reflection of God himself. Thank you, mighty God. How many of you, don't put your hand up. How many of you have ever said, you act just like your daddy? I'm going to ask you to put your hand up now. How many of you have ever been told that you act just like your daddy? Is that good or bad? <laughs> when you spend time with... <laughs> when you 
one, you know, if later on as, as Charles's girls get older, somebody's going to say you are just like your daddy. If you get on Facebook and see how Charles, what Charles does with those girls and the relationship that they have, everybody on Facebook is saying he's a good father. The writer said he's a good, good father. Glory be to God because of the relationship that we have together. He's a good, good father. Yes, we want to make sure that we know him. And I want to be able, I want everybody to know if, if I'm not breaking it down enough, try to get it because you've got to break it down to somebody else so that they'll understand that is your father for real. Don't just memorize that prayer, but he wants to be your father. Amen? Amen? He really does. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I believe what you will experience is God saying, I am glad that you are with me. Or, I am glad to be with you. When was the last time you visit with somebody or you have a relationship and somebody said, I'm so glad you're here? Yeah. Amen? Amen? When you develop a relationship with God, you want God each time you go in prayer. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You want God to say, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be with you. Yes. I'm so glad you took time out to be with me. And I'm glad you're with me. Thank you, mighty God. Relationship. Thank you, God. Intimacy. Thank you, God. Give me a few more minutes. Let me finish up. Still have time. Yes, Lord. Remember the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit will not force himself on you. Amen. Amen. You have to take the initiative. He doesn't place demands and stipulations on your prayer life. But if you say, help me pray, he's ready to respond. Amen. Hello, everybody. Amen. Help me pray. You get on your knees and you don't know what to say. But you can get on your knees and your Holy Spirit. I, didn't the Bible say the Spirit makes intercessions with groanings which cannot be uttered. Glory be to God. When you don't know what to say, God knows your heart and he know, you, you can't get it out in words. Here comes the Holy Spirit. Woo, hallelujah to God. He prays through you because you know what God wants from you. So he prays through you to God. Oh, glory to God. You get on your knees. Thank you, Brother Daniel. You don't know what to say. You're sitting down there. You're so touched. And you're, you're so moved. You're, you're so all kinds of things. You just start bawling before God. And the writer caught the vision. And he said, tears are a language. Oh, Hallelujah. So if all you're doing is bawling before God, God understands. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord help us today. May the Lord help us today. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. It is impossible to move into intercession with a snap of your finger. Coming out of, yeah. It's impossible to move in there with just a snap of your finger. You've got to spend time. It does not come instantly because it is a partnership with God that requires a deep and intensely personal relationship. Think about what I'm saying, folks. In order for us to start interceding, we have to make sure that we are in partnership with God. Thank you, mighty God. An intense personal relationship. God knows the needs of those people, and he has a plan. Thank you, God. So after we have come out of intimacy, and we're going into intercession. We have to make sure what we're going, how we're going there. Thank you, Lord. 
It's not going to happen overnight. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. Thank you, Lord. So the Holy Spirit prays through you when you don't know how to pray. Thank you, God. Now, we have intercessory group at the church. We have some people who come together and intercede. Everybody needs to be interceding. It's not just seven people. Amen? We must understand that you have to take situations to God. You have to take people's problems to the Lord. And when you don't know, a lot of times people call, pray for me. You don't even know what they're saying. You don't know what their needs are. Some people don't want to say what the other person's needs are. They don't want to. And then you have some people who are real nosy. Really, really nosy. There's one that's, that's, they're not going to pray. They just want to know people's business. So when you don't want to spread everybody's business all over the place, God knows what it is. You stay before God. You say, pray for, pray for the pastor. I'm going through some stuff. What's, what is pastor, what, what's going on? Just pray for the pastor. God knows. Thank you, Lord. So go back to intercession. You go with these people's problem. We must recognize that God answers prayers and don't hesitate to thank him. But please make sure that you don't take any credit for what God is doing. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57. 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. The reason why I'm using this verse of scripture, because if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard Brother Reggie said as well in his message, all the stuff that he went through or he was going through, he stayed there until victory came. Victory doesn't come overnight a lot of times. Stay with me. Okay? Sometimes you have to pray and push and pray and push. And it seemed like the more, uh, have you ever prayed and it seemed like the more you pray, the worse things get? But you keep on pushing. Because victory is on the, you have to know that though. Victory is on the way. Push. Push until victory comes. Never give up. Church, don't give up. The devil will bring us to a place right now where we give up because we've been praying for, we've been praying for six months. <laughs> and we think God is supposed to answer us in six months. And if God doesn't answer us, we're giving up. We're going to stop praying about the situation. If you know that God has the answer, don't stop. Amen. Amen. If you know that God has the answer, don't stop. He's coming with it. Glory be to God. But thanks be to God. I need to hear some testimonies. Sometime I've been praying. I've heard somebody said somebody's daughter was on drugs for 30 years. And they prayed. And God, God brought them out. Right now, I don't think some people want to pray for 30 years. Some people don't even want to pray for 30 minutes. This woman who knew the answer to her daughter's problem continued to pray for 30 years and I heard the daughter's testimony. I did. I heard the daughter's testimony. I was on drugs for so many years, but my mother. Somebody need to say, but my mother, but my daddy, but my sister, but my brother kept on praying and now I got victory glory be to the Lamb of God victory is on the way victory is on the way do not give up push keep on praying glory be to the Lamb of God 
He's a great and mighty God, and there's nothing that is impossible with the Lord. I'm going to do the seventh step, and then Brother Mantel, I'm going to want, ask you to come and do the altar service for me. Oh, I'm, I am so sorry. Six is intercession. I'm sorry. Sorry. Once you get the victory, that's when you come and give testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I once was blind, but now I can see. I was, I've been on drugs. I've been prostituting. I've been lying and stealing and carrying on. But God, hallelujah to God. Now you give him thanks. You didn't bring yourself out, but he did. You did not bring yourself out, but he did. And he's still, he's, he's going to continue to work if you let him. Glory be to God. Thank you, mighty God. So give God thanks for who he is and what he can do. Glory to God. Now we can go to the seventh step. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Church in 
Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. My friends, the altar is open. Any one of you that feel weighed down, that feel burdened down by life, right? We all experience life. We all go through things. And my friends, this is the opportunity to come and to just surrender. Surrender your baggage. Surrender your mess to the Lord. Amen? In Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Guard your steps as you go to the house of God, and draw near to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools, for they do not know they are doing evil. Do not be hasty in word or impulsive in thought to bring up a matter in the presence of God. For God is in heaven and you are here on the earth. Therefore, let your words be few. So we need to understand that this is about a holy God. Amen? We need to be cautious in our thinking when we approach God and, and his throne. Amen? So once again, the altar is open, my friends. Anyone that need prayer, come. Do not worry about who's next to you. Do not worry about what anybody will think. Come before God and surrender. Surrender to him, my friends, because the reality is we are not promised to see tomorrow. We're not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Elder, I'm going to ask you to come and pray for the people in the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, fall in this place. Fall in this place all in this place soften hearts lord god in the name of jesus god let these people before me god let them get a glimpse of the word that was brought forth today god let them understand I the steps in the name of jesus god intimacy lord god I intimacy lord god. soften hearts oh god soften their minds in the name of jesus I Hallelujah, God. Let people understand, God, that you are it. You are the mark, Lord God. There is none else that we can look to, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let these people be broken before you, Lord God. Let them come on to the end of themselves, Give him that your life today. Hallelujah. Cannot work. Come on to oh God, Jesus. It will keep over and let over him have again. his Father, way. Father, but let us understand. Come on oh to God. Jesus. God, that we don't have to wait Give him from your Moses life today. anymore. God. We Come don't have to on be to at Jesus. the base of the mountain, Lord God, but we can go let to him the have his way. Hallelujah. Come on to Jesus. Give him your life today. Saturate hearts Come on to Jesus. Saturate hearts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on to Jesus. Give him your life today. Soften your hearts today, church. Soften your hearts today, church. In the name of Let Jesus. Let him have his way. Hallelujah. Come on to Hallelujah. Jesus. Let them not leave this place Give the same. Your God. Life today. Let them not leave the same. Come on to Hallelujah, Jesus. God. 
Let him have his way. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask for breakthrough in this place, Lord God. Hallelujah, we ask for transformation, oh God. God, we ask that you regenerate hearts in this place. Cause us to have new hearts in the name of Jesus. New hearts, oh God. Creating us, oh God. Clean hearts. Hearts of flesh, Lord God. Hearts that can be moved by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hearts that will just love your word, Lord God. Hearts that will love people. Have come. Hallelujah. There is still room for one. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is room at the cross. Cause them to get it, God. Cause them to understand, Lord God. There is Hallelujah. room at the cross. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is room Father at God, the anyone cross. Anyone that is going through right now, in the name of Jesus, God. God, reveal to them, show them, Lord God, that you are with them in their troubles. That you are with them in their trials, Lord God. Whether it be with, with, with family members, oh God, or finances, oh God, whatever area that people are going through with, Lord God, show yourself to be God in their lives. Show yourself to be the Lord. Hallelujah. You're always on time, Lord God. Help us to understand, Lord God. It's Isaiah 55, God. You made it clear that our thoughts are not like your thoughts, Lord God. Your ways are not like our ways, Lord God. As far as the heavens is from the earth, oh God. That's the gap between our ways of thinking and your ways, Lord God. To help people, help us to get it, Lord God, that your timing is not our timing, Lord God. There is room at the cross we might pray for this and for that, you. according to our fleshly desires, Lord, Lord God, the but your answer will be different, come. Lord God, because you are different from us. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. We're hurting these people's hearts today, Lord God. Burn in their hearts, Lord God. There is burn in their hearts at the cross Jesus. for you. Jesus. Hallelujah. There is room at the cross for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The millions have come. Hallelujah. There is still room for one. Hallelujah. There is room at the cross Hallelujah. for you. There is room at the cross for you. There is room at the cross for you. The millions have come. There is still room for one. There is room at the cross for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, there is power 
in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, 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 break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, 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 break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, 
break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. God bless you so much. Thank you for coming out. Monday, uh, Wednesday night is Bible study at 7 o'clock. Thursday is prayer at noon and also 7 at 7 o'clock. On Friday, 7.30 is youth on Friday night. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Let us stand to our feet.